Hey guys, I thought I would do a uh, weekend vlog for you this weekend. Um, I've been attempting for the last two weekends to do uh, a vlog, but it's just completely failed massively. And I just forget to film because I just get too into the boys and too into what we're doing. And yeah, the last two weekends have just been a total flop when it came to vlogging. So I'm gonna make today my mission and tomorrow to film. <laughs> So um, I was going to film earlier this morning, but my morning started at about 4.30 and I am exhausted. <laughs> I'm so tired, um, but I've just, I've had a shower. I'm just getting ready because I am off out to London today. One of my best friends is due her baby soon. So we're having a baby shower. So I'm really excited. So Dan's obviously staying at home with the boys. So. I'm going to be without the boys all day and all evening, which seems so bizarre, but I am excited to sort of have a bit of a break, especially after last night because it was just a nightmare. But I just thought I would do like a little chatty update while I am getting ready for you this morning because, um, yeah, oh, don't you just hate it when that happens every single time? Oh, it is sleep month on channel mum this month every month we do a topic and obviously being a channel mum vlogger we have to cover that topic channel mum's maggie fisher she's a health visitor she knows all things sleep so if you have any issues or if you're feeling down or you can't sleep or your baby doesn't sleep and you're out of ideas then definitely go into the channel mum forum and leave a message and she will be able to answer you and give you some tips and and help you out but what i'll do is i'll leave the link in the description bar below so that if you have any kind of sleep issues then um definitely click on the link below yes. we have tried absolutely everything with marco and it just doesn't seem to work we've tried to feed him not feed him cuddle him not cuddle him leave him to cry not leave him to cry honestly you name it we have tried it and nothing works and i said to dan this morning i was like i'm so tired to go like i literally don't have the energy to get off the sofa i just want to snuggle all day and like be cozy and cover up on the sofa and nap all day but obviously i'm not going to let my friend down she's one of my best friends and she came to my baby shower and I was her bridesmaid, she was my bridesmaid and obviously I wouldn't let her down regardless of how tired I am. But you know when you just wake up and you're like, oh, I can't do anything today. I was literally like that. But I thought, no, I'm going to have a coffee, I'm going to get myself ready and I'm just going to go. So I'm going to London but I'm not travelling on my own. Obviously, as you know, I'm a bit of a wuss. So I am going to meet some friends there first and then we're going to travel up together. Anyway, um, I am hoping maybe tonight is going to be a better night sleep wise. But you just don't know, do you? It's so hard to judge. Like sometimes he sleeps so well and then other times he's just an absolute nightmare. And I just never know, like, I never know what it is. I always think it's his boots and that he's so uncomfortable. But I just don't know anymore because he should be used to that because that's all he knows. I just... I don't know, but I am out of ideas. I know that. I don't have any more ideas on how I can make his sleep better. Since Lorenzo's been born, really, um, sleep has just been disturbed and not the same. Although Lorenzo and Nico are actually very good sleepers and they were very easy babies, um, looking back now, I don't ever really remember sort of feeling that exhausted or anything like that. So they were actually really, really good sleepers. Um, it was only since Marco, he came along and a little bit of background, he was premature, obviously he's got the issues with his feet. He was in and out of hospital with his chest um, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, he's, since Marco's come along, he's like really sort of changed everything. Anyway, I'm gonna finish getting ready now and um, I'll show you what I'm wearing. I think it's quite casual and obviously, because I'm traveling there, it's in London. I just wanna be comfortable. <laughs> some directions to get to you right so i am ready now guys i have got this dress on from next and dan picked up for me actually i've got my converse that i need to do up i've put these socks on but 
I don't know if I'm going to wear them or not because I feel like it makes my ankles and my calves look bigger than what they are. Anyway, I love this dress. Dan picked it up for me. It's got pockets and it's woolen and it's so soft and it's actually just really, really comfortable. It is sunny out there, but there's a bit of a chill, so I just figured this is perfect. So yeah, I am ready for the day. This is what I am wearing today and... I will take you along with me. To get to you ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we got connection. I think about you. You're on my mind. On my mind. On my mind. Yeah. I'm going out of my mind. Out of my mind. Out of my mind. Yeah. For you, my love. You drive me crazy. Tell me what to do. What to do. I'm on my knees, yeah, I am begging you, begging you I'll break the rules if it will give me two, give me two, yeah lion but it's still something isn't it <laughs> oh i feel like i had a bit of a better sleep last night but i still got up with francesco to give him a bottle and then marco woke up and he had a bottle that was at different times i think francesco woke at about one and then marco woke at about two then he went back to sleep again and then Marco came in at about six I think again and Lorenzo I feel like was already in the bed so yeah not too bad I mean it was much better than the night before to be honest with you because that was just ridiculous <laughs> I'm gonna go downstairs now anyway and see the boys and Dan and hopefully get a coffee I feel like I've got a bit of a cold um I just feel a little bit bunged up a bit of a sore throat yeah I'm not really sure why but Anyway, it's the last day of the weekend, and then obviously Lorenzo starts his full time at school. So he's going in from nine till half three. So, yeah, I think he's going to really, really enjoy it. But we'll see. We'll see how he gets on. I know he's going to be so tired. So, I'm going to make sure I get all of his stuff ready today, and Nico as well. He's got preschool. I think I'm going to go and sit with him tomorrow and see if that helps him settle but I just don't want to do that every time because I feel like he will expect that every time and then it's just going to be a nightmare isn't it. Some people have said that that's not a good idea but then other people have said that that will help so I really don't know what to do. Um, I just don't want him to kick and scream like he did last time because that was just... Yeah, that was really quite tough to sort of leave him like that. And then obviously on Thursday, I just didn't leave him. I ended up just taking him home because I was getting quite upset as well. And I just thought, it's not worth it, is it? I don't want him to then resent it or even start looking at the school and crying. I know we'll get there in the end, but at the moment, oh, with everything being so new and all the changes being so new, it must be quite tough for them all really because it's not only a change for me and my routine it's a massive change for Lorenzo and his routine like he doesn't see his brothers every day now because he's away from them every day so it must be quite tough but then equally as tough for the others to not have him around as well because that's their normal too so yeah I think hopefully the weeks just get easier and 
everyone gets a bit happier, although Lorenzo is very happy, which is just a major bonus. We went to a party last night and I didn't film anything because, well, I just didn't. We were with friends and it was just really nice to see them all. Yeah, it was one of our best friends' dad's 70th birthday, so we went along. My mum and my mum's partner had the kids. So they were as good as gold apparently and went to bed by like 8 o'clock with like no bother at all which is difficult because when we try and get them to bed quite early they just don't, they just don't want to and they faff and they delay it but yeah they were as good as gold and we got back at about quarter to 11 so we didn't even have a late late one really but because obviously I was in London all day yesterday it was just such a long day and I felt so so tired yeah we didn't have a late one and obviously Dan was with the boys and he had um, quite a tiring day although he managed to get all four of them to nap together for an hour but yeah anyway he still had quite a tiring day obviously because he was with the boys and I was in London so yeah hopefully we can just have a chill day today get the stuff ready for school tomorrow and yeah, just quiet, chilled one. Absolutely freezing. I don't want to get out the covers and I've already got a jumper on, so. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna go now. I'll take you downstairs with me. Okay, go on then. Yeah. Neeks, go backwards quick because Thomas is getting you. He's going to chase you. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
watching my weekend vlog i think i'm gonna end it here because i feel like it's quite a long video already but i'm just about to tuck into these monster munch flaming hot they are my favorite flavor of monster munch they are the best ones by far so i'm gonna end the vlog here we're probably gonna give the boys some tea give them an early bath and get them ready for bed really because they have a big day tomorrow Nico's at preschool and Lorenzo's starting his first full week as a reception student oh my gosh that's so weird isn't it he's in reception full time now as of tomorrow uh, I still need to get their stuff together so yeah we're gonna give them some tea give them a bath get them ready for bed and I'm gonna sort all of their stuff out and hopefully just have a nice cup of tea and chill out because I feel like we're probably gonna get an early night tonight as well. I do actually wanna catch up on the X Factor as well, so we'll probably do that. If you enjoyed it, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Remember to check out the channel mom link down below if you are in need of any kind of sleep advice or tips or anything like that for you or for your baby. And I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.